All right, hello, my name is Lisa Arto. I'm from Warrenton, Virginia. I'm here at Sacred Threads. And this is my Annie Give Us a Jig quilt. I love this quilt because it honors my sister-in-law, Anne, and it celebrates her soul. What I love about her soul is her joy, her lightness of soul that she brings and connects people to each other. So the story goes, I first met her when I graduated from college about 30 years ago. We both worked at the same skilled nursing facility. I'm an occupational therapist. She worked in recreational therapy. And I was interviewing a client, and all of a sudden he stopped me. And I remember being stunned. It was so abrupt. And he put his hands together around his mouth, and he yelled, Hey, Annie, give us a chick. And I looked up, and I will remember this forever, this, this tiny little energetic woman, this, this sprite spirit. She was all bouncing and dancing and jigging her hands, her hips, her whole heart was in her dance and she never looked back. She just kept jigging, jigging, jigging until she reached the end of the hall and she kept jigging. She took a left and she went out of sight. And what was resulting was this loud applause of laughter and applause and woot Annie and, and the whole room had bubbled up with spirit. The vibration was higher because of this person. And I remember thinking, oh, I've got to meet this person. Not only did I meet her, but she introduced me to her brother, and now I'm married to him for 25 years, and Anne is a fond part of our life. So the hard part of the story is, in September, Anne was diagnosed with uh, terminal multiple myeloma cancer, stage four. So we're at this point of extending her life and, and trying to be present and enjoying life along the way with her. She came to Virginia in Thanksgiving, at Thanksgiving time. And what I love is while we're setting the table for Thanksgiving dinner, Anne had gone around the corner and there was my donation bin and she had been rummaging through it and un unbeknownst to us, she had slipped on this pink little tutu. It was an old tutu from my daughter's collection of dress-up clothes and started jigging around the kitchen while we are setting out uh, everything for Thanksgiving. And we stopped and we froze and we howled and that same bubbly joy had come. And I whooshed back to 30 years ago thinking, that's how I met you. <gasps> it just tingled all the way through my body. So after she left, I, I had held on to that tutu and knowing I, I had to do something with this but I didn't know it was going to be a quilt then. So I just let it percolate until that quilt kept telling me, I need to be made, I need to be made, and if not just for you, for a story, for Anne, do this quilt. So I broke down and said, all right, I will be brave, I will do this. And I did, and the coolest things that happened with it were unexpected. It was like divine grace, it was subconscious. I didn't know what I was doing. I've never taken a drawing lesson before in my life. I, I, I just thought, please guide me, please help me. And sure enough, these beautiful radiating lines, I don't know where they came from, but they came and they all centered onto her, her fourth chakra, her heart. And I love that. And these kaleidoscopes, I don't know where they came from, but they jumped out at me uh, you know, a week or two later saying it needs something else. And I saw that the black had come through uh, in congruence with the vibrancy, and it kind of represents life and death to me. Like, we're all dancing. We're all dancing with life and death. And we all know death is a natural part of the cycle of life, but can you dance with it? Now, I'm sure Annie doesn't dance every day, but to honor her on those days when she has that spirit and her spirit can guide through this body, it's all about dancing with life and death in our life and honoring Anne. So thank you, Sacred Threads.